Have you ever wondered what secrets lie beneath the icy surfaces of distant moons? And if there could be worlds beyond Earth where life might exist? Imagine receiving a mysterious signal from Mars orbit, only to discover it's a test for an alien encounter. Yet, far from Mars, scientists are uncovering tantalizing clues from Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, that suggest it may hold more potential for life than we've ever imagined. Today we'll dive into the exciting details of NASA's ambitious $5 billion mission to explore this enigmatic moon, where hidden oceans and mysterious fractures could lead to groundbreaking discoveries. Stay tuned as we uncover why Europa might be the closest place we could find extraterrestrial life in our solar system. On May 26, 2023, the European Space Agency, ESA, announced it had received an encoded signal originating from Mars orbit, which sparked worldwide speculation about possible alien contact from Mars. However, it soon became clear that the signal was not from extraterrestrial beings but from ESA's own ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. The experiment was intended to simulate what it might be like to receive an alien signal and practice the retrieval process. While similar signals are now being detected from Jupiter's moon Europa, it raises the question, what causes this potentially life-supporting signal? Could there be life on Europa? Europa, in fact, is often considered a more promising candidate for habitability than Mars, the Moon, or even Saturn's moon Titan. A major focus of research now is NASA's Clipper mission to Europa, a project with a significant investment of $5 billion, about 4,000 crore rupees. Today, we'll dive deeper into this. This story goes back to 1979 when the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft flew past Europa, capturing the first ever images of its surface. These images revealed a surface unlike other moons, which are typically dotted with craters from meteorite impacts. Surprisingly, Europa showed few visible craters, instead displaying an intricate pattern of cross-hatched lines as though scratched by enormous nails. These markings, researchers agree, are actually fractures in the icy surface. But what caused these cracks? Scientists have proposed three main theories. Tectonic activity, similar to Earth, Europa's icy crust might be divided into tectonic plates that shift and collide. However, certain inconsistencies have raised doubts about this explanation. Crevulcanism, crevulcanoes or cold volcanoes, eject substances like gases, liquid water, ammonia and hydrocarbons rather than magma. Europa's surface contains ammonia and hydrocarbons, which are typical crevulcanic byproducts. Internal pressure from such activity could lead to eruptions, creating fractures on the icy surface. Jupiter's gravitational pull, the powerful tidal forces exerted by Jupiter could be stretching and cracking Europa's surface. All three explanations suggest an underground ocean beneath Europa's icy shell. Based on estimates, this ocean could hold twice the volume of Earth's oceans, filled with salty water similar to Earth's seas. This makes Europa a particularly intriguing location for studying potential extraterrestrial life, even more so than Mars, the Moon, or Titan. Europa's atmosphere is composed largely of oxygen, making it more suited for human habitation compared to Titan's nitrogen and methane-rich atmosphere. Moreover, Europa is closer to Earth than Titan, which would make missions there more cost-effective and efficient. Additionally, while Titan relies on Saturn's magnetic field, Europa has its own magnetic field, offering some protection against harmful cosmic rays. One reason scientists consider Europa as a candidate for supporting life is the warmth of its subsurface ocean. This warm water, shielded from radiation by the icy crust, could create conditions similar to early Earth, where life might develop in a relatively safe environment. In 1997, researchers proposed the Europa Clipper mission, which was later approved. The Clipper will orbit Jupiter, and make close flybys of Europa to study its habitability and detect any potential alien signals. Navigating Europa's orbit, however, is challenging due to Jupiter's intense gravitational field, which would require extensive fuel to counteract. Instead, the Clipper will enter an elliptical orbit around Jupiter, allowing it to perform about 49 close flybys of Europa. These flybys, however, pass through a region dense with highly energized particles due to Jupiter's magnetic field, which is 20,000 times stronger than Earth's. This intense radiation can damage spacecraft, requiring NASA to take extensive protective measures for the Clipper. The Clipper, spanning 100 feet wide and 58 feet long, 
will be the largest interplanetary spacecraft ever built by NASA, equipped with nine advanced instruments for thorough analysis. Key instruments include Europa Imaging System EIS and Europa Thermal Emission Imaging System EThemis for surface imaging and temperature analysis, UV Spectrometer Europa UVs and Mapping Imaging Spectrometer for Europa MISE for detailed compositional studies, Magnetometer and Plasma Instrument for magnetic sounding to assess Europa's magnetic field, Radar for Europa assessment and sounding, reason to measure ice thickness and subsurface characteristics, Mass Spectrometer for Planetary Exploration, Mass Specs, and Surface Dust Analyzer, SUDA, for chemical analysis of space dust and gases. A metallic plate featuring the word water in 103 languages will accompany the clipper, serving as a potential means of communication should intelligent life exist. According to NASA's timeline, the Europa Clipper is scheduled for launch on October 10, 2024, with an anticipated arrival between 2029 and 2030. Will we detect any alien signals from Europa? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed learning about this mission, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more space exploration content, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring the wonders of the universe.